Okay, so if we just switch back to design view now. Okay, um, we might want to line some of this up, so if we just hold the mouse down and drag like a square around the controls, and then we'll move them a bit to the center here. And we can shift some of these back. Just click on the label until you get the hand symbol at the top left and just move it holding the mouse down move it to the side there now to line them up just click anywhere here and hold the mouse down and drag it so you get like a square that covers the labels let go then right click on a label select a line and I'm going to say align left and that way they all get lined up, all the labels get lined up underneath each other we might want to just click in here and separate company and name into two words press the spacebar for that okay and if we select a label now, if we click in the toolbox the first one here is label, click that and go to the header and drag out a label let go and we'll type in there customers click away from it okay now we might want to make that a bit bigger so we click on the label customers we'll go up to the top here and if you notice this toolbar here it's a bit like Microsoft Word or Excel so the controls are essentially similar so we'll select 22 move these down to the left here a bit and we could also give this a color of red bold it and underline it now if we run the form now we can see we have customers again we'll go back into design view and this time I'll click on custom company name make it bold run the form, the report, and we can see a bit of separation there between the company names, but what I'll do is I'll put a line in between each one, so go back here, select our line control here in the toolbox, and um, we just want to put it at the end of every um, record here, so that's the very last field is the postcode one, so we need to just drop it there, I'll drop the line there, run the the report now. The line needs tidying up a bit. Not particularly straight, but let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, now we have a line between each record, and that's a little bit clearer than it was. And the company name is highlighted with customers here, at red in in bold at the top as well. So that's just a, a little example of how to create a quick report in Access. And we'll go back into the design view and we could save that and then it would ask us for a name. We prefix it with RPT. So we've got RPT which is essentially stands for ca uh, report and just give it a name of customers. OK that. Close it. We go back to our database window, we can see we have a report here, RPT customers. And we could just run this anytime we want by double clicking. And there we have it, list of customers.